chemistry. It's like having a time machine that lets us sample the atmosphere of the Earth as it was long before we we're here. For example, cores from Antarctica reveal that during the last ice age, carbon dioxide levels were around 180 parts per million, much lower than the 420 parts per million we measure today. By aligning these gas measurements with evidence of global temperature changes, scientists can see the direct connection between greenhouse gases and climate. Snowflakes transformed into ice are what makes this kind of understanding possible. They are the paper and ink of Earth's climate journal. But gases aren't the only story written in snow. Each layer of snowfall carries chemical fingerprints of the environment. Volcanic eruptions leave behind ash and sulfur compounds. Wildfires deposit traces of soot. Even solar activity can be detected because cosmic rays affect the isotopes that form in the atmosphere and eventually settle with the snow. Consider the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815. One of 